Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So, we got more news. VeChain has another partnership. It's a small one. It's uh, with SupplyMe, but they've teamed up to make some new apps. They're going to form a strategic alliance to develop Web3 inventory monetization system, which is what Supply at Me does. And of course, VEUSD uh, stablecoin technology. So they're going to further develop that platform. So hopefully this brings more utility onto the VeChain platform. So what is Supply Me? Um, basically, it is a uh, it's an alternative platform focused on inventory monetization, which can enable a wide range of manufacturing and trading business to improve their working capital position. The service model is managed by an innovative platform that puts together funders through a securitization scheme and companies across the world. The structure works with several domestic special purpose vehicles. So that's actually what they do. And basically the VeChain Foundation is no stranger to innovation. As a pioneer of many blockchain applications that have tangibly benefited the real economy, we have a proud history of solving pain points across a diverse set of industries. Today we are unveiling a new initiative following the signing of a strategic alliance with Supply at Me the fintech company behind the unique inventory monetization platform. The outcome will be a first-of-its-kind Web3 inventory monetization system that utilizes blockchain, stablecoin, and NFT technology to help creditworthy businesses raise value from their inventories and provide companies with entirely new kinds of economic services. Phase 1 of the collaboration is already underway, with initial results due by the end of July 2022. The goal is to develop a proof-of-concept platform able to generate and deliver blockchain transactions to an Italian supply to, to an Italian company from SYME's client portfolio via the VeChain to our public blockchain. So they already have a new Italian client through all of this. They're probably using this particular client for pilot purposes. Following analysis and review of phase one, the project will move to phase two and the development of a full inventory monetization platform due by December 2022. So by the end of this year, you'll see a full inventory monetization problem. Uh, platform. Now, this all runs on VeChain Tor, which will burn VTHO. And we need some burning of VTHO because ever since a couple of years ago, when they did that 100 to 1 like ratio thing where they uh, decreased the, uh, the amount of VTHO required for transactions. Um, complete with a full roadmap of Web3 features, including the issuance of non-fungible tokens that represent digital ownership of physical items, B2B marketplaces, decentralized and financial applications, and an overall governance protocol. The platform promises to unlock brand new capabilities for manufacturing and trading companies. During the second phase, the VeChain Tor public blockchain will be utilized to mint the physical uh, NFTs with inventory monetization transactions. Now, these NFTs are going to be like more inventory-based NFTs. They're going to be um, application-specific NFTs. They're going to be industry NFTs, not like the $2 million JPEGs that uh, we've actually been seeing. The overarching aim of the collaboration is to create an entirely new kind of fintech platform for use by manufacturing and trading companies looking to generate cash flow via non-credit a non-credit approach and without incurring debt. The outcome is the creation of a highly unique and novel solution for creditworthy companies to optimize inventory management and improve cash flow. So that is where we actually are right now. They're going to do new projects. They already have a new Italian company. We don't really know what it is. And um they're going to basically make new economic services that will hopefully burn a lot more VTHO. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.